On this week's episode, we look at my new comics, and we also check out these Walmart multi-packs. Are they worth it? Let's go check it out. Hey, what's up, nerds? Welcome to this week's episode of Nerdistic Tendencies. I am your host, Ray Hale. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that ringy-dingy so you get all my notifications. Don't forget to hit me up on the social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, where we update throughout the week. Last week on TikTok, we gave away uh, a stack of Captain America comic books, and we got something special for this week. But if you're interested in those and getting free comics, check me out on TikTok. I always know I'm going to have a good week at my local comic book store, Bell Book and Comic, when Pete Bell, the owner, gives me a call. So earlier this week he gave me a call, he got some new stuff in, wanted to know if I was interested in any of it, so he set some books aside, and I went to go pick them up. Let's go see what we got. Big week. Alright, let's check out my new books from Bell. First up. Champions, number two. Uh, this is a series that came out in 1975. The Champions at this time consisted of Hercules, Black Widow, Angel, Ghost Rider, and Iceman. Had uh, some more characters uh, were interchanged throughout the run. But these are some of the books, 1975. These are pretty cool. Number three. Okay. This one is a key. It's the first appearance of Rampage. Number 11. Number 13. Number 14 is a key. It is the first appearance of Swarm, Lord of the Killer Bees. Yes, I said that right, Lord of the Killer Bees. Number 16. Number 17, and that's it for the champions, so that's pretty cool. Now we got a really good uh, run of Amazing Spider-Man over here, so check these issues out. This is number 148 with the Jackal. Okay, this next book is a big key. Amazing Spider-Man number 149. This is the death of the original Jackal. It is also the first appearance of Ben Riley, the clone Spider-Man. Later on in the 90s, uh, there would be a uh, the clone saga for Spider-Man where they brought back this clone and it became a whole thing. Who's the original Spider-Man and who's the clone? And what it was a really convoluted storyline that most people ended up hating in, in the end. But still... That's a really big book. Number 150, as you can see, Kingpin, Vulture, Sandman. Really cool books here. This one is an even better book. Amazing Spider-Man 194. This is the first appearance of the Black Cat. The Black Cat is a big deal. Uh, she's in a lot of Spider-Man books. Uh, at one point in time, uh, romantically involved with Spider-Man. Also, uh, the rumor is is that they will uh, Sony is going to be introducing the Black Cat. Now we kind of got a, 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 a tease of her in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie uh, played by Felicity Jones, but we didn't, didn't get to see her as the Black Cat. So um, we just saw her her character Felicia Harding. Um, so, that's going to be pretty cool. The value on that's going way up. Number 195, it's the second appearance of the Black Cat. 204, it's the third appearance of the Black Cat. 205, another Black Cat issue. Amazing Spider-Man number 210, this is the first appearance of Madam Web. Really cool. 
spent a little bit of cash this week for these books. Still really cool. Okay, Amazing Spider-Man. Number 226. Yep, another black cat. 227. Pretty cool, huh? More black cat. Okay, so now we're on to a Nova run. Uh, this is... Man Called Nova, issue number one. This is the first appearance of Richard Ryder Nova, uh, who will be coming into the MCU very soon. So this is a big book. Value on this is going to go way up once that is officially announced. We have Nova number four. This is a key. This is the first appearance of the Corruptor. This is another key. This is the first appearance of Sphinx and the Mega Man. Okay, Nova number eight. So this is the first appearance. This is the first appearance of the Xandarian World Mind. Uh, so if you have seen Guardians of Galaxy, you've already seen the Nova Core. You've also seen uh, the world of Xandar from the first Guardians movie. This is a big deal. It's more of a minor key, but still it's, it's good to have nonetheless. Man Called Nova number 9. Nova number 10. Nova number 11. Nova 13. This is the first appearance of Crime Buster. Nova 14. Nova 15. Nova 16. Nova 17. Nova 18. And Nova 25. It's a key because it's the final issue on this Nova run. So, that is a really cool. All right. Next we have Marvel Tales number 150. Uh, this is not a big book. Again, Marvel Tales is just a... Um, it's reprints of earlier Amazing Spider-Man comic books. Um, still looking to finish that run, so I was happy to get this one. Another run that I've been looking to get. Start off, I got a couple of them, but this is the first one. This is the Micronauts, issue number one. Uh, first appearance, it is a key. First appearance of the Micronauts. Um, so that's pretty cool. Got that really clean copy of it too, so that's pretty cool. Now we're on to some good stuff here. Okay. Ms. Marvel number two. This is the second appearance of Ms. Marvel, Carol Danvers. It is also the origin of Ms. Marvel. That's really cool. This is the first time I've ever gotten any books in this run, so I was really excited to get this stuff. Ms. Marvel number three. Ms. Marvel number four. Real good copies of this stuff. Ms. Marvel number five. Got the vision in there. Ms. Marvel number six. Ms. Marvel number seven. With the giant head of Modoc. Ms. Marvel number eight. Okay, this next one is a key. Ms. Marvel number nine. That is the first appearance of Deathbird. She becomes later on in the X-Men books more uh, more popular. She is she eventually ends up becoming the Empress of the Shi'ar Empire and marries Vulcan, who is one of the Summers brothers uh, with um, Cyclops and Havoc. So that is really cool. Another Ms. Marvel here. This one's number 10. 
fighting uh, looks like Deathbird, Modok, and Aim. So that's pretty cool. This is huge. I've been looking for this book for a while. Ms. Marvel number 18. What is the big deal about this book? This book is the first appearance of Mystique. Yes, Mystique of X-Men uh, and various X titles. Um, it is also the same character that you see in a lot of the movies. Um, huge book. This is a key value is going up, especially considering that um, there's rumor uh, about the new um, Marvel's movie coming out with Captain Marvel and everyone that uh, Mystique and Rogue may be making an appearance. So that is really cool. Ms. Marvel number 19 with the original Captain Marvel. Okay, this is Ms. Marvel number 20. This is the debut of her classic black costume. I think they call that even the, the bathing suit costume black with the uh, lightning bolt on her front. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's what makes it a key. Ms. Marvel 21. So that's really cool. Exciting uh, batch of issues right there. Uh, if you've been watching my other videos, I'm on a big Silver Surfer run. So right here is Silver Surfer number 45. This is the second appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet, which becomes a huge deal. Uh, not just in the comic books, but in the MCU uh, proper with um, Endgame and Infinity War. So that's a big deal. Uh, same Silver Surfer run, except this is issue 146. This is the last issue in that uh, series. Uh, this one had an extremely low print run. Uh, so I was real happy to get that one because there's only something like 10,000 copies that were printed and sold on this to wrap up the Silver Surfer run. And I'm one of those 10,000 copies. I have one of them now. So that's really cool. Next, we move on to Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man. This is issue number 26 from 1978. Issue number 27, it is a key. One of the more famous and loved um, comic book runs in history is Frank Miller's run on Daredevil. This issue is a key because it's the first time that Frank Miller is actually drawing Daredevil uh, in a um, spectacular Spider-Man comic book. So that was a huge deal. Number 28. Okay, another huge key right here. I've seen this a lot on YouTube. Got a beautiful copy of Marvel Spotlight number 32. This is the very first appearance of Spider-Woman. A uh, beautiful copy. Uh, I am not one to send stuff off to CGC to get graded, but um, this might be worth getting pressed and sent out. Uh, I think we might be able to get a um, high 8, low 9 rating on it. So... Um, that's pretty cool. It's something for me to think about. And if I end up doing that, I will document it and let you let you people know. And to wrap this up, we have some more Spider-Woman comic books. This is Spider-Woman issue number four. Okay, Spider-Woman issue number five. Uh, it's a key. It is the first appearance of Morgan Le Fay. Um, it is also her first appearance. She was a Golden Age character that she they rewrote and changed some of her story on and brought her into the Silver Age. So that's a pretty cool book. And finally, we have Spider Woman number seven. Really, really cool batch of books today. Big dollar, big value. Um, and it'd be interesting to revisit these uh, comic books a year from now and see what their values are. Because uh, I know a lot of these big keys, they'll be going way up. But Thanks for checking them out. So another thing I did this week is I stopped by my local Walmart. I knew that they had these comic books there. Uh, Marvel has a, a three pack of comics. DC has a four pack of comics. Each one is $8.98. I figured it would be a good idea to buy some of these packs, open them up, and see was it worth the value of $8.98 per stack. So let's go check them out. 
All right, so I went to Walmart and I got these packs of comic books that they sold there. And I was kind of interested what would happen, what would we end up getting in these packs? Is it really worth the price uh, of eight ninety eight per pack? So I figured that I would buy a few stacks and see what we got. So open them up. Let's check them out. Okay, and in the first pack we got Black Widow number one. So I checked these out real quick. Doesn't appear that um, these are second prints of anything. It's literally just the three pack of comic books. So we got Black Widow one, Fantastic Four, Negative Zone issue number one, and Avengers No Surrender number 690 and in the second stack we got silk number one marvel snapshots the avengers number one and thor number nine this is a phoenix variant which is pretty cool i wasn't expecting that uh, that's kind of cool okay so with these books this is a $3.99 book. This one's a $4.99 book. Uh, this silk. This is a $3.99 book. $3.99. Uh, negative zone, $4.99. And this is a $3.99 book. Um, so the books themselves, um, obviously it's cheaper buying them in the three pack. Um, you end up paying about $2.99 for per book in the um, Marvel packs, so that's pretty good. You get a little bit cheaper. Unfortunately, <laughs> you don't know what's in them other than the one that's pictured on the cover. So I knew we had a Silk number one, and I knew I had a Black Widow number one, uh, but you didn't know what the other four comics were in the packs. So you can't really buy for something if you don't know what's in it. Uh, so that's the little thing, but it's kind of fun to open them up. You are going to get the comics cheaper than on the newsstand. Um, but it looks like you get more value in the DC. DC comic packs are, the DC comic packs are again, eight ninety eight, but instead of three issues, you get four. And it looks like you get a mini poster if you collect all the packs to make one giant poster. So, uh, definitely looks like DC's got the better value on it, but I'm not unhappy um, with my with my picks, uh, my Marvel books. So that's pretty cool. Let's open up the DC books to see what we got. All right, let's see what we got. So the mini posters that they're talking about come on the sleeves. Now the two packs that I picked up actually uh, come from different sets. So to collect all the packs, they actually are a, a different image. So, you know, that's kind of that's kind of cool. So if you do get all the packs, um, you can collect all the images to make one big poster. Um, let's see if it's actually worth getting all the packs. Now for me, uh, I don't collect a lot of DC, so I'm pretty well, in the Marvel books, I already had the Silk number one. I had the Black Widow number one. Um, but in these books, it's guaranteed to be, um, to get something new. So let's see what we got. Okay, this is Superman number 21. This is a variant. I got Supergirl number 40. Action Comics number... 1022 Justice League Dark number 22 uh, this second pack was mostly variants which is kind of cool it's a Justice League 46 that's a variant Nightwing number 71 that too is a variant Superman 22 again it's a variant I believe these are all um, uh, one in ten or one in twenty-five variants. Um, 
they're not that rare, but still pretty cool. And the Flash, number 755. So, you know, um, I, I got all new books. Uh, that's pretty cool. Four books versus the three on the Marvel side. Certainly a better value, plus the addition of the mini posters to collect the whole set. That's still pretty cool. Uh, and it works out to be about 225 an issue in the set. So that's certainly a better value. These were all 399 books, I believe. So you are saving, you know, um, a, a, a buck 74 or whatever it is. Uh, so you are sa saving a little bit of money, but the unfortunate thing is because you don't know what's in the pack, um, you know, does it really matter at that point? If I was collecting this volume of The Flash, I probably would have still bought it on the newsstand and then months later pick up the pack just to get it. So it, it's kind of weird. I don't think it's a bad idea to get these. I probably will get more, um, you know, certainly to expand my collections just to see what else we can get. I like the fact that uh, variant covers are thrown in there. That's really cool. Um, so what are my final thoughts? It's worth it. I mean, at the end of the day, even though you don't know what's in the package, um, you're still getting a good value for the books. They're not second prints. They're all first printings. You get some variants. Uh, why not? Go for it. You know, if you see it at your local Walmart, pick them up. Uh, it's certainly worth it at $8.98 for three comics or four comics. It's a good value. So Walmart is going to get the two thumbs up. Well, that's about all the time that we have this week. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the ringy dingy to get my notifications. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter, where we update throughout the week with some new content, pictures, videos, funny things. Um, it's worth checking out. That's all the time that we have, folks. Enjoy your week. We'll see you next time.